Hi, this is Dustbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Tunnels and Trolls. Um, we reloaded from a save in this sump and returned to this spot at the foot of the cliffs, and we can read. You hear a scream from the cliffs above and an odd whistling noise. You look up just in time to see a large rope basket contain several people plummeting toward you. When the dust clears, you find that all the people in the basket are very dead. They have left a few meager possessions behind. We have a broadsword and a short sword, and we got some money off them. And of course it's in the middle of the night, and some bandits spring out from concealment. Let's see if we can do this in auto combat. And if that doesn't work, we'll just have everybody block and have Arwen do old go away. Oh, Sinead's unconscious. At least unconscious is better than dead. Well, it worked. Magnus and Arwen survived. Got plenty of experience points for it. Okay, let's save that and see if we can rest without having any more baskets falling on our head. Well, I think we'll go along the base of the escarpment. And that's the way out to Palaki's Isle. So, okay. Let's rest. Ooh, you come across a small alligator thrashing in the shallows. Its throat is bloated and seems to be the source of its distress. Before, its very o before your very eyes, it expires. Being the curious sort, you pick it up and pry open its jaws. To your surprise, you discover that it's tried to swallow a rather large sapphire. You may take it if you wish. Hey, yeah. And we'll give that to Arwen. I th no, her pack is full, so let's try giving it to Sinead. And faint bluish light seems to flicker and blink, drifting slowly away to the north. Let's save before we follow the will the wisp. Okay. Ooh! As you approach the great escarpment, the bluish light you've been following seems to pass into the face of the cliff. Unbelieving, you rush to where you last saw the Will o' the Wisp. You found a hidden canyon. So complete is the illusion that you can pass within a few feet and still miss the passageway. It could be an unknown pass through the Great Escarpment. Do you wish to explore it? Sure. Before you may enter, you must defeat the Guardians. Oh, great. And who's Guardian? Swamp Fiends. Okay. Okay, and that doesn't work very well. Okay, we'll have her bull. Maybe shoot. And she missed.
and we'll have her try oh go away and see if that works okay we're gonna have to have Sinead work her way around the other way. Unfortunately, Oko Away seems to work just fine on the swamp things. And that worked. It does appear that you've found an unknown pass to the Great Escarpment. Do you wish to ascend it to the Upper Plateau? Sure. Ooh, you begin to notice graffiti carved and painted on the canyon walls. Kara King loves Leotra! Fire Rom's a fink! Reads another. A third reads, Clacking mandibles speak but a single tongue. Eventually, you climb out of the pass and find yourself at the top of the Great Escarpment. You rest for a moment, catching your breath after the arduous climb. When you turn back to look down the pass, it seems to have disappeared. And... Oh, we found it again. Do you wish to attempt to descend it to the lower plateau? Arriving at the bottom of the pass, we met by a welcoming committee. That's probably some more human scum. Nope, more swamp. Okay. Well. More of them this time, too. Cast. Oh, go away. Let's try to pick ones that have a clear path out. Oh great, Sinead's been infected with the disease. Hopefully we've got something that can cure that.
and we're going to keep working on scaring these guys off. Lather, rinse, repeat each round. And hopefully she doesn't run out of strength to cast these spells. Okay, looks like we just have one left. Okay, let's see if we've got anything that can cure disease first. Okay, we've got blood root syrup, heart's ease, witch, and witch hazel and rue tea. Blood with trouble strength. <sighs> ah, heart's, heart's ease restores three to constitution and halts disease. So, let's give D to Arwen, and then Arwen needs to O, and doesn't seem to help. Well, let's pass those other two potions. No, that's not what I was trying to get. Oh, H. Okay. 
I don't know. That heart disease didn't seem to do anything for Holt disease. seems to be cured now. Kind of hate blowing the other potions though. Well, we found out where the where this is secret passage. Okay, I don't remember leaving that boat on the coast, but whatever. Now we, or actually we, no, we don't want to go into Cure and Cure's Fine Steeds, but we can sell off those couple of gems. Our favorite IRS agent, or the town tax collector. Okay, that's the adventurer's dream. No, we don't want to go into the rogue scale. I think this th might be the gem, d yeah, Pearl Goldwyn gem dealings. And going through each character. I Okay, we'll have her sell off the sapphire. Okay, 200 gold is nothing to sneeze at. I think we'll sell off the ruby. I'm not sure whether it's a good idea to sell those other two things. Now, yes, we do have a ruby, but I don't think it's the ruby eye that the dragon's looking for, so I think it's okay to sell it. That's only worth 50 gold. Okay. buy some food. Food for one day costs three gold. How many days do you need food for? You can buy up to 30. Oh yeah, we were down to less than two weeks worth of food.
Okay. Well, now our characters won't starve. Oh, plenty of food. We're not going to run out for a while. Okay, well... And there's the tavern, which I don't think is open yet. And I think we will try crossing the river this time. And I think we're going to basically parallel the river. You see before you the Kost Hunga Bridge, a broad stone affair that leads into and out of the city's southern entrance. On the end nearest you see two figures lounging about. As you draw near the two step forward toward you. They are dressed in similar uniforms. They're both shorter than five foot two inches tall. The one on the right raises his hand. Stop! City Coast Revenue Department. Toll collectors. Oh, this must be Haxum and Axum. Either fight them or wait until the real city guard arrives. Nice day! That's the one who stops you in a tone that indicates he doesn't care about your opinions. Of Those your horses? He continues ignoring your reply. Horses are five gold pieces each cross. Toll! He extends his hand to you expectantly. Do you pay? No. Two men puff. We may seem small to you, but we're backed by the entire amount of the Coast City Guard. You do well to pay your tolls and fees, or you'll be paying bail as well. Now pay up! Hey, okay. Uh, no. Intractable foreigners! The first little man plucks a brass whickle, whistle and blows upon it one loud blast. There! City card will be here in a moment to suf in sufficient numbers to deal with the likes of you. Uh, unless, of course, you pay up. Do you pay? The two figures detecting your martial order flee. Yelling over their shoulders, you'll get yours, cheapskates. They dive into the nearest cover and are gone. You pass the bridge and enter the city of Kost. And let's see what Kost is like. Okay, we're at the south end of town. And what is in here? Stitchery and splints. Okay, this must be a healer. As you approach, the dwarf is at the desk asks, May I help you? Probably can't really, but... Okay, so, the usual. <sighs> okay. Well, I guess we'll have to finish exploring the city of Kosht in the next episode. We'll see you then.